hello beautiful people welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to draft a corset pattern from a basic bodice pattern this tutorial is going to be very very detailed so get your pen and paper and start jotting down some things if you are new to my channel welcome if you're an old subscriber welcome back please click the subscribe button click the bell so you get updates when we post new videos and now we can begin so i've drawn the lines for my basic bodice pattern but i'll just explain this right here is my shoulder and this black line you can see here is my shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two and where that point ends i marked my armhole round measurement divided by two as you can see and this line must be parallel to the center front line so where my armhole line ends i drew my bust line at that point so i'll just label this the bust line bl for bust line so from shoulder to this point is my bust point line that's my shoulder to nipple so i'll label this bust point line then from the shoulder point to this point is my under bust so i'll label this under bust line from here to here is my waist so i'll label this my waist and then from the shoulder to this point is the corset length where i want my corset to end and i'll label that corset length so now that we are done with that i'll come right here and mark my chest line which is from my shoulder to above my bust so from my shoulder to above my bust so that's what i'm marking so i'll just go ahead and join the points and you can label this your chest line or your above bust line so it's just above your bust that's the measurement i have there so what i'm going to do now is come to this bust line I'll be marking my bust circumference divided by 4, which is 9 inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. And then I'll be creating like an armhole curve from my bust line to my above bust line. Then I'll come to my bust point line. I'll be marking my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 from the center front. And mine is 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 inches. So I'll mark 3.5 inches at my bust point line. I'll mark that same 3.5 inches at my bust line at my above bust line all from the center front i'll do the same thing at my under bust repeat the same thing at my waist as well do it as well at my corset length as you can see and then i'll just go ahead and join the points like so to get that straight line i'm going to be measuring the distance between my bust point line to my under bust so what I have right here is three and a half inches. So can you see that? I have three and a half inches. What we'll be doing is from that point there, that my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two at my bust point area, I will be marking three and a half inches all around while pivoting, you know, my tape rule at that point. So can you see how I'm moving my tape rule all around like this? So that's what I'll be doing at this area now till we end up with like a circle i'm just using dotted lines to do that this circle is going to serve just sort of like a guide you know, towards curving out my cup so now that we have this circle i'll come to my under bust mark my under bust that of two inches one inch on both sides and i'll come to my waist mark my waist that of two inches one inch on both sides you can go with 1.5 inch in total for your darts that will be three quarter inches on both sides and then i go ahead and join the point like so then i'll join from my waist now all the way to my corset length at the bottom right here so once we are done with this guys i'll come to this point now and then from the under bus connect it to my bust point line with a curve so depending on how you use your curve ruler you can create fullness at that point so can you see that with how i've placed it like this now i sort of like have created a deeper curve and that place is looking more full so can you see that i'll do it right here as well so can you see that is you know looking more full can you see that so i'm going to go with the more fuller one we want to take that at our above bust line area so i'll be marking half an inch towards my center front like so and then i'll be marking one and a half inches towards my armhole um curve like this can you see 
So guys, the reason why I'm taking this dart at this place is so that we can have fitting at the top of our bust by the time we sew the pieces together. So that is why we are taking more dart, especially towards the armhole. And then I'll just go ahead and use my curl ruler to connect them all the way to my bust point line like this. So this is what we have. Now, I'll just go ahead and measure the line, especially the one very close to the armhole area. And I have about 3.25 inches. So I have about 3.25 inches. And then right here, I have about 3 inches. So what I'm going to do at the shorter one, I'll just add a quarter of an inch. So it will make two of them the same length. Do you understand? So that by the time we sew this together, one fabric is not short. So that is why I added that 0.25 inches. Now I'm going to come to my bust line, to my center front now, at my bust line area. Now I'll be marking half an inch at my bust line from the center front to do the same thing at my bust point line. And I'll go ahead and connect it like so. So what I want to explain is that you can go ahead and join your curve like this from this dart line at the top here to your bust line you can also go ahead and join it from the top to your bust point line like so so it depends on what you want how deep you want this is sort of like as if you are creating a sweet heart neckline so what i'm going to do is come down by half an inch from the bust line and then i'll just straighten it to the center front like so so for me that is what i'll be going with and then i'll just go ahead and connect from that top to the point i've marked like so just connect it like this with my french curve connect from the bottom to my bust point line like so so that's what i'm going to do so i'll be starting from here now so can you see what i'm doing ensuring that my curve ruler is at my under bust i connected it to my bust point line like so then from here now i just connected it to the top so this is what the curve at this side is going to look like now from this side we need to make a little adjustment because your side boob is more fuller than the front boob you can check your body to see that your side boob is much more fuller than i'm going to come to my bust line now where i marked my bust circumference divided by four i'll be coming in by one and a half inches so i'll just mark it like so so can you see that and i'm left with half an inch I marked 1.5 inch inwards and I'm left with about half an inch. So can you see that? So at this point here, I'm going to come up by a quarter of an inch. Like so, just join it. Can you see that? Then from this point now, I'll just draw a straight line down to my bust point line like so. And this is what I have. So now we want to connect this part, this panel like this. And you can see that if you connect from your under bust to your bust line, you can see that you bypass you know, those dotted lines. So I want to create more room at this side. So I'm going to connect from my under bust to that line that I drew down to my bust point line. And you can see that it has created more room like this. So that is why I drew that line downwards. So our side boob can have space to stay, sort of. So I'm going to come right here. That quarter of an inch I marked up. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. To this point like so and this is what we have and then i'll draw a curve towards you know that armhole curve that we drew initially like so so i'm going to come right here i want to add our allowances i'll measure this part that we are going to cut out at the bust area at the bust line i have about half an inch so i'm going to be adding that half an inch right here like this then I'll come to my under bust, mark my under bust circumference divided by 4, and then add my 2 inch dart allowance right here. I'll do the same thing for my waist, mark my waist circumference divided by 4, add my 2 inch dart allowance right there. And then for where I have my corset length, the circumference around that area on my body is 38, 38 divided by 4, that is 9.5. So I've marked it right there and then I'll just go ahead and join them together like so. So you can see that I have a straight line at my side area. Can you see that? But do not worry. By the time we take in the dots right here, everything is going to you know, fall into shape. 
so guys at our cup area we have like two panels one here can you see that and one here so that's what we have you can go ahead and cut your panels your cup panels like so but i'll be cutting this into four panels so i'm numbering it at the top one and two at the bottom three and four like this can you see one two three four so i'm going to come right here at panel two i'll just mark one and a half inch from the top at that area mark one and a half inch so i'll just keep going down by one and a half inch like so and when i get to this point right here it is from that point now i will now mark one and a half inch downwards so can you see that can you see what i'm doing i'll mark one and a half inch get my curved ruler connect it like so if you want to use a curved ruler for this just carefully connect it then i'll come to panel one area from that point there I mark one and a half inch downwards so i'll just keep marking one and a half inch downwards now from this point where the curve ends at this area i will mark one and a half inch from that point and then use my curved ruler to connect the points like so and you can see that we now have our four panels differentiated like this so you can cut it as two panels you can cut it as four panels so that's definitely up to you so I'll just go ahead and cut out my corset pattern. You can go ahead and watch this carefully to see how I'm cutting this out so that you don't make a mistake when you are cutting yours. So for the for this part here, I'm cutting around the fuller that area. So you can see how I'm cutting this part. So you need to carefully cut out your corset pattern. So once I have this cut out, I'll now divide panels one and three into two and then go ahead and cut out the rest of the front pattern. So after cutting the front pattern, this is what we have. You can see our panels, our cup panels, one, two, three, and four. So this part right here, my center front, I'll be writing on fold because we'll be cutting this part on fold. Right up here at this tiny part, we'll be adding half an inch indicated by an arrow and then I'll be adding my half an inch allowance at this point, at this dart area, at the bottom as well. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for this side. Use an arrow to indicate half an inch. You can go ahead and use numbers for yourselves. So for my side seam area, I'm using double arrows, but it will have half an inch just for me to know where my side seam is. And this part will have half an inch as well. So cups three and panels three and four will be having half an inch seam allowance all around so i'm using an i'm using an arrow to indicate that for one and two we are going to be joining them together side by side do not attempt to place them on top of each other so i'm using a tape to hold one and then i'm just placing two beside it like so to ensure that it is edge to edge you want to be careful with that and this is what we have for one and two it will become one panel and then I'll go ahead and mark where I'll be adding my seam allowances of half an inch all around, with, which is indicated by my single pointed arrows. So can you see that? So now we're done with the front panel. We're going to go ahead and move to the back of the corset. I want to explain something to us. We can see that the sides of the front panel, the front pattern of the corset begins from the bust line. Can you see that? So we want the back to also begin from the bust line like so can you see so i'll just go ahead and mark my zipper allowance of one inch from the edge of this pattern paper mark the same thing at my waist one inch and mark one inch at my corset length these are the three points that we'll be using to draft our back pattern and i go ahead and join the points together so what i'm going to do now is label this my zipper allowance area so we know that that is it so i'm going to come right here mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two at my bust line do the same thing at my waist come down to my corset length from this line right here i mark three and a half inches and i go ahead and join them together so i'm going to come to my waist now mark my dart allowance so you can go with half an inch you can go with a quarter inches on both sides because this is a corset and you sort of like won't fit in you can go with three quarter inches which is what i'm going with then i'll come to the top right here now i'll be taking one eighth of an inch on both sides of that line so just one bar on my table the total will come to a quarter of an inch 
so that is what we have right here and i'll go ahead and join them together from the bust line to my waist and then to the corset length like so so this is what we have after joining so i'll come right at my bust line now from this line here i'll be marking my bust circumference divided by four which is nine inches so the allowance i have here which is about a quarter of an inch i'll go ahead and mark that right there as well then i'll come to my waist to mark my waist circumference from this line now divided by four can you see that then my dart allowance which is 1.5 inches i'll go ahead and mark it right there then i'll come to the bottom of my pattern the corset length mark the circumference around that part on my body divided by four which is nine and a half inches can we see that then i'll just go ahead and join the points like so so what i'm going to do now is you know sort of carve out my zip allowance area so i'm taking half an inch in can we see that this is sort of like to you know make it really really fitted so i'll join from the bottom there to that half an inch in that i've marked also connect from the bust line to that you know half an inch that i've marked so this is how our zipper allowance area is going to look like because the back of your body is not straight it sort of like you know goes inside so that's why i did this half an inch deduction so after taking out that half inch, we are going to be marking our one inch zipper allowance back. So from this point right here, I'm going to mark one inch and then I'll connect it like so. Can you see? So I connected it to that straight line where we marked our original one inch zipper allowance. I'm doing it right here as well. Can you see that? So we're going to end up with a curved one inch zipper allowance. Then I'll just go ahead and cut out my pattern. So the reason, like I said, the reason we took out that half inch is such that we can have a fitted corset and to remove any zip bulge at our, you know, waist area. So after cutting it, here is a, you know, curved zip allowance part. And I'll just go ahead and, you know, mark where you're supposed to add our allowances. So single arrow indicates 0 0.5 inch seam allowance at the point where i am marking them so at this point i have 0.5 inch seam allowance at the bottom 0.5 inch seam allowance the side seam will also have 0.5 inch seam allowance but i'm using you know double arrow heads to just let me know that that's my side seam so you can decide to leave your crochet pattern the back like this or it will look nicer when it's sort of like sloped so from the side seam, we're going to slope it down to the zipper allowance area. So at my bust line now, I'm going to come down by one inch. So just go ahead and do that. You can even come down by more than one inch. So for me, one inch, my one inch from the bust line ends at my bust point line. So I'll just go ahead from my side seam like so, just curve it, draw a curved line all the way to my bust point line like so towards my zipper allowance area so can we see that so this is what we have so now at this dart area one dart line is going to end up shorter than the other so the shorter part now i'll be adding one eighth of an inch so just one bar on my tape roll you can go with 0.25 inches just to be safe so once that is marked i'll just go ahead and connect it like so to my bust point line and this is what we have this is what we are going to cut out like this so after cutting it out this is what it looks like and here is our back pattern and we are ready to you know cut this out on fabric so guys can you see that the sides of the front sort of like slopes towards the side of the back like so and then to the center back so this is how it looks like when you slope the back. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.